Hi everybody, since we uploaded our last video, we have received so many messages from all of you asking us a question, is this a best time to buy a property? Is this a best time to invest into real estate? So you guys already know, watching our last video, don't buy property on your name if you want it to be an investor, buy property on the limited company name because you can offset so many expenses. So before you go and buy the property, answer to your question is yes, there's always a best time to buy a property. You need to understand two things. Number one, what is return on investment? Number two, always look for a best and better deals. You must understand if you want to be a new investor or you get into the real estate, how much return you will get on your investment. If you are getting a 10% return on your investment. This is a very, very good return. It's ideal return. Go for it, buy that property and rent it out, lease it out, whatever the options you have. So if you know there is a 10% return, don't hesitate, just buy it. Don't even think about it because nowadays 10% return is very, very good and it's ideal opportunity to buy a property. And number two, always look for a better and best deals. There are always deals out there. You need to just open your mind, keep looking for it and make a right offer at the right time. So if you understand these two things, you will be a very good investor. You can make a lot of money out of it. Even you get 8% return or 7%. Um, look for what's the future value of this property. If the future value will increase in three years time or two years time, still go for it because it's not always about looking at the 10%. Even you have a 7% return, buy the property, flip it after three years. Don't sit on it. If you have a very good offer, just sell it. I've done that in the past. I bought a property and I made from one single property just £50,000 within one year because that was a very good deal and I just flipped it within one year. Just don't think like, you know, some people what happen is they just set on the assets and the asset will just basically give them very small return on their investment and the cash is stuck, they can't buy and new properties or they can't build up their portfolio, they cannot increase. The reason is because they made a poor decision um, they just look at the property, they bought it, the return on investment was less and now they're thinking about what should we do. Why their friends or a family member uh, started uh, buying the properties at the same time but now they are ahead of us. Because why they're ahead of you is because they're not set on the assets. They have made a very right move. They sold the assets when they have a really good offers. They always have a future plan in place. The problem with most of the people is they don't have an exit policy. If you have an exit plan, work on it. When you buy a property, see what's the future of it. Can you flip it? Is it going to increase in value? What interest rate I will receive? And what interest rate I'm going to pay? What a return on investment it is. It's very, very important. So if you need an advice, and if you think you wanted to invest in the properties, please speak to some professional. They will give you the guideline. They will tell you what you should do, what structure you should have in place. Just don't go and jump on it. We at Acumen Accounting don't charge talking to people. So if you have any question, you can get in touch with us. Either myself, Vajid Ayaz will get back to you and answer your questions or one of our team members will sit with you and work with you on your plan. So remember two things, return on investment and look for the better deals and always look for the best deals. Again, thank you for listening guys. The link for our website will be bottom of this video. All the contact details are there. If you wanted to get in touch with us, just give us a call or drop us a message. Thank you very much.